Howdy, everybody. Welcome. I'm iGlitch. Oh. I decided to start today off by doing a little bit of Among Us. I think a little backstabbing to start us off. Um, so, should be Howdy, doing everybody. perfectly Welcome. fine. Uh, you know? Uh, but, alright, let's get ready to roll. I think everything should be set up. So, how are y'all doing? Y'all doing pretty good? I'm doing pretty good. I think it's been quite the mm, day. Uh, college restarted, so that's always fun. Uh, yeah, that's always... Like, don't get me wrong, I, there are some cl classes, like, I enjoy the classes I'm taking, I just, eh, sometimes it's nice having the time, you, like, you, there's never enough time off. This is the one thing I do hate about, uh, ooh, interesting. Aha! Let me be red. Let me be red. Ah! Ew, that's a clashing color. Ugh. Red and blue. No. Uh, all right. Ooh, two imposters. Okay. A symbol. Wow. This is okay. Sure. This is gonna be a quick round. Who? Who does? Who? Why? Why though? Why? All right. Whatever. I'm. I mean. I'm. You know. All right, you go here, you go there, you go there, you in there, and we'll take you and put you right there. Look at that, already done. Oh, thug, you scared me. Well, um, oh, I should probably hit the button. Oh, boy. Okay. I think it's well who okay I hate when they I think it's white but hmm well that was inter interesting hmm I'm gonna go follow white where'd white go Where'd you fuck off to? Hmm. Well. I'm here to lay down. Oh, gosh. I'm here to lay down the law. I'm gonna patrol these streets. Make sure nothing's... Looking sus there. Well. Okay. Well. Wait. Where was body? Okay. okay sure. Oh, okay. Well, I was about to be nice to him, but apparently not. He gets nothing. I have to have my caffeine because, like, <laughs> it's been a long day. You ever have the, like, the thing about, like, and this is true whether, you, whether you're in, like, middle school, like, any, like, mm, I'd say, like, High, 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 high school, college, or if you're European, I guess university. I think is what they call it there. Um, oh shoot. Um. Uh, oh, I'm pink now. 
I uh, don't have anything against pink, but I'd rather be something else. Ew. Anyway, um, but, uh, no, so, um, excuse me, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, so that, like the first week, right? You don't do anything much, but it's, it's like a lot of like, oh, this class is going to be this, but maybe maybe it's just me but like i get overwhelmed like i get so overwhelmed like it, not not to the point like where like shut down or anything like that but like i get to the point <clears throat> i get to the point where i like it just my brain is just like there's so much information being thrown in your head like and this may only apply to like i don't like i know this isn't going to apply to everybody but like, one of my professors uses this, like, thousand-point system, right? And he... Time is me reactor, not him. Who's, what? I don't even know what that means. Who's Cheyenne? Yo, it wasn't him. Anyway, but like they just explained the numbers. Yeah, it, <laughs> shocking. Who, I, uh, I hate that so much. Anyway, so he's just explaining it, right? And it's not that he's doing bad explaining it it's there we go uh so it's just so many numbers. I'm just... I, it just... Oh. <laughs> What's... Okay. Well, uh, never mind. I was wrong. Oh my gosh. How are they able to hit the lights? I thought there was a freaking cooldown. I need to go to the laboratory. Um... Okay. Yeah. This is. I'm gonna pop out of this lobby because this is too much. But anyway, yeah, it's just so much information. Oh. Hmm. Man, this is. I just want to get my task done. Is that so much to ask for? I wish, some, uh, like, if anybody was watching, I would say, "Tell me how to, what this name means." Like, what it, what is, what is this? Oh, we're just gonna keep tying over and over again. Just leave it. Anyway. So, but bottom line, as I was trying to get to, is that it just there's so much information, right, just being thrown at your head that it is in that just it just it uh, yeah it's just stressful it is just super super stressful i'm sorry for the lag guys i i, I don't know what's uh ca causing it lately the internet's been pretty short some would say but no um 
Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm, so I'm just, bottom line, that's why I'm drinking caffeine, because I am exhausted. I'm just very tired. But anyway, there's Diana, not Princess Diana. She's a lot, this one's alive. Too soon? I don't know. If any, speaking of Diana, has anybody ever watched The Crown? It's actually really good. My wife started watching it and got me sucked into it, and I'm just like, I'm just like, I need the drama. But not like we binge watch the whole thing. We get to a certain point and then we stop. I think we're on season. Let's see, I think Diana comes in in what four or five, so I think we're on like three. And we just kind of stop. My wife has a tendency where like, like we got to season nine, eight or nine of Bones. And she just stops watching it. The only shows I've ever seen her finish are Seinfeld, Friends, and uh, Bone or er, Seinfeld, Friends. Yeah, that's okay. He is definitely innocent. I think it was white. If not, well, that was impressive on his part. Nope, it was Dana. Damn. Well. We're dead anyway. It's just... Well, there's. <laughs> Alright, it is what it is. Yep. But if I'm going out, I'm gonna be a good cop and try and shave us all. I'm gonna put the things right. I'm gonna die here. I know I am. Yep. So it's red. Yep. I do not like this lobby. I, I need a new one. That one was absolute rubbish. Oh, hey, cyan, nice. Uh, make a quick run out. Why? Okay, voting time is 75 seconds. That's about to be like 15 seconds. Are you kidding me? See, I think opposite crewmate and imposter vision should be switched. I think the crewmates should have shorter vision than the imposters. Because otherwise it makes it really hard for the imposters to see what's going on. Alright, electrical. Admin. Oh, that's... No. <laughs> it's free real estate. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not going there. Uh, Alright. Um. Well... Submit my scan. I don't think the the visuals on, so I'm just gonna have to just sit here, I guess. Oh, I don't think it completed. Well, wow. wow, two are dead. Okay. Okay, sure. Everybody's just like, see, that's the thing. I like the the visual tasks, right? But the problem is, is that you inevitably run into the issues of, oh, well, hmm, I can't exactly, like, if you have them on, right? All right. Oh, pink wet. <laughs> um, 
this is a better lobby okay oh i'm green now oh, that's fine um any, there you go now you can start um no i think that ultimately they're good they're useful but They can be a catch-22 because it's like, oh, that makes it... If you're the imposter, it makes it extremely hard to uh, to do um, to do anything. Because, you know, uh, you can't... Electrical... Better wait. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, it kind of makes it much harder for them to But yeah Skip vote here, I guess I didn't see anybody come out so Good kill though on their part because they did the the kill on them Okay, so, um, hmm, you have an honest voting on. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but it makes it really hard because you're just like, crap, they know they're innocent. But for, for the most part, I think overall it's much more effective. Well, okay, so good to know that the if I'm ever imposter in this lobby, taking out the lights isn't going to do crap. Because, like, did you see that? Like, the... Oh, God! I died. Liter literally, maybe a foot from where Orange died. <sighs> anyway. Someone's gonna find that body. That's not hard to find. But, uh, oh crap! I gotta go back. Black, are you? E are you? Yep. Well, that was effective on their part. Hmm. Okay. Me and Sam, eh? All right. <laughs> Should I do the free real estate kill? <laughs> it's so tempting. God, it's so tempting. Just fake like you're doing tasks. <laughs> just kill somebody to save. Screw it. All right. Um. I should probably go to the right side just in case. Well, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, sorry, Red. I have to... Damn. It's going to type out. There was nothing I could do about that. They were on their own. Electrical. <laughs> okay, that was nowhere near electrical. <laughs> gonna be on my ass this whole time. Huh. Well, there's no way I'm gonna win this. Right? So, best I can hope for. Alright, that'll, that'll give me clearance. Get tasks done before I can even beat them. This is unfortunate. Uh, God. Oh, shoot. Okay. I have. To oh, shoot. Well, that's. Wait, why am I saying oh shoot? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the one who set that up. Did they even know they were about to die, I wonder? Alright, I'm gonna have to just stab someone soon. Damn. I was gonna kill yellow. Pop away.
me. You saw me do O2 black. I'm skipping vote. Damn! I was <laughs> I was gonna kill him anyway. <sighs> I'm gonna tell him that. Black, I was coming for you. I knew I was gonna. Dang it! Why? I mean, it's not like I don't like the long times, but this will be our last round, and then we'll go. Ah, oh, brown. The color of poop. <laughs> Lovely. Now, what? You hit the button for that? Well, that kind of makes it easier. Yeah, I could have sworn pink, pink had me. Like, pink had me. If they had actually let pink just suss me the whole time, it would have been... Okay, so neither of them were the imposters. Uh... And I'm still working on the card. Hey, first try. Well, <laughs> yes, first try. <laughs> no, no one saw that other part. No, no one saw that. Just, just I didn't fail that before. I did that first try. Cause I am impeccable, <laughs> and you can't beat me at my own game, which is to do card swiping. Ah, fudge. Okay, sure, fine. Who did? <laughs> okay, why? Where, why, when, who? Oh! Medbay connects. To elect through vent. So white or lime first. This is gonna get this, this whole thing is just about to get so. Thank you. Okay, yep. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, storage.
it's slime perp called white and lime and white is an imposter who I also voted to kick out. It's it's lime. Yellow. He's literally admitting lose this I, I can't even why am I debating it's lime oh thank god Owen. No, no, no. I'm leaving game. All right. So yeah. All right. Now let's switch over to some World of Warcraft. Shall we go for the horde? I think so. We pick up our mighty hammers and we smash them against the rocks. Some laggy. I'm getting some real latency. I apologize for that, guys. I don't know why tonight's just doing that. Cause I'm I'm watching what you guys are watching, and it's pretty laggy. So I I do apologize. So oof. We may run another, I think we'll run another hour. We'll go to 11 and then uh, go. But I don't understand. Anyway, it is what it is. So, um, I hit play, right? <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Oh, no, I definitely did. No, I didn't. So yeah, it's been an interesting day. The thing of the thing about Tourette's is it be it becomes hard hard to speak with with um with larger groups. So, like in, in class, even though we're in Zoom or like the one I have in per person, I'll stutter, stutter uh, a lot, and and s s so something something else I fuck oh, no, um, I apo apologize for. It is. You can notice it right now. I I forget the words that I'm trying to say. So if I don't have things written out in front of me, sometimes I will completely forget where I was going with a point. I can be completely focused on something. And if I'm going in that direction, I will lose that the words. They're just out my head. And so it becomes very difficult to... Um, try and remember what I was trying to say so I I'm sorry like if that like I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much but like it just I I, I have a train of thought but I just forget I just forget the words 
instances. So yeah, um, y yeah. So the the large thing I've been having is like wanting to go. Let's 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 compare, mm -hmm. shall we? <sighs> I've been wanting to do a shaman, right? And I've been using Wowhead's dressing tool a lot. Uh, let's move you over here. Swipe is exactly what I wanted. I'd like to do one. I also want to focus on uh, on archaeology a little bit. I like how the red contrasts with the hair. What does beast look like? Beast. Yeah, I like the the single the stripes. It's really hard not to like orcs. It really is. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? I think we're gonna name her Akara, if it's available. Nope. Akara. Yeah, we'll name her Akana. And we're gonna do straight from the Valley of Trials, because this is a lot of fun. So if you don't know, Right, the Exiles Reach was added in Shadowlands, and basically it provides a unique experience for levels one to ten. So it provides you basically, you kind of learn a bit new things. Um, it shows you your um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It shows you your class, how to do things. Um, Hmm. Maybe we should do it. It's it's a really fun experience. It's super fast. Cause ultimately we could do Exile's Reach, come back into Duratar. Because even though they haven't announced like heritage armor for the orcs, I'd like to have it. Although I have the one. Eh, let's you know what? Tell you what, we're gonna do we're gonna do Exile's Reach so you can get an idea. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Oh, I hit Lagasa and it just launched it. Okay, that happens sometimes. By the way, in case you're wondering, this energy drink, right? Per one can is 200 milligrams plus an extra 100 milligrams of a coffee um, extract. So it's like 300 milligrams of caffeine in a 16 ounce can. Now to give you a comparison, right? Monster is two servings per one regular sized can. And it breaks down to roughly about 86, um, 86, I think ish milligrams of caffeine. This ha and that's per serving in that. This is one can, which is one serving. It's 300 milligrams. So, but it doesn't have any sugar and only five calories. So it is kind of nice. And it's got like a bunch of other stuff that's kind of actually really good for you. So that's actually uh, real nice. But um, uh, yeah, so we're gonna do a Kana and we're gonna kind of see what we like better. Because essentially they're the same, it's just the, the look, right? Do we want to go for the Moghar, Daughter of Black, Black Hand type deal, or this woman? Anyway, um, uh, so yeah, let's let's look at Exile's Reach. I'll let you guys kind of see the, the starting intro screen if you've never seen it. Most of you have probably seen it if you're watching this, but if you haven't, uh, it's like I said, I said, a really fun, really fun experience um, to go through. I think it's an interesting
Sorry, guys, I'm trying something real quick. See if this kind of helps the flow. <clears throat> See how this works, see if it tracks pretty well. Sorry, anyway, so, but yeah, um, okay, so as you can see, it kind of starts off with a, um, with this whole, uh, the tutorial so hmm, I, I should why am I not pushing this to ultra I don't know why I don't have that set to <laughs> anyway um, so we're going to set that down to uh that so anyway uh, display let's take off tutorials let's add our action bars pretty standard stuff I like to have those just kind of all figured out right now but um, okay so also unlock my frame talk to you unlock that frame and then we'll move those in a second so yeah so we'll start off here right uh, Put this right about there. Put this right about here. Lock them in. I kind of like them down here so I don't have to look up. So, okay. So, right. You can immediately talk to her and she'll do whatever. Like, no big issues. Um, also. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, you can talk to her, whatever, you know, um, get some uh, things kind of figured out. Uh, but I like to, um, and something I've done with my brother in the past, is talk to, oh, no, oh, no. This is what happens when you, quest points of interest, drag sites, focus, target, right? Yeah, target. Points of interest. Auctioneer. I know I've screwed that up, but I can't remember. You can keep her mailbox. Repair, transmogrifier. Okay. I think I've now unclustered myself there. Anyway. So, is to kill a lot of these, uh, these guys. Because, um, ultimately it kind of makes it real difficult to... Uh, to do this so uh, not real difficult I'm sorry uh, it, it makes it easier to level up because like I'm basically I could have stopped like about after like the second kill like two kills usually gets you leveled up but for the sake of this I kind of wanted to just get to level 2 on my own just killing the dummies I think this is kind of interesting that Blizzard put this in to allow people to just kind of you have patience like my brother one time just sat here and just like <laughs> went off on this thing and i'm just like okay sure whatever floats your goat i guess oh grog wants the rog wants to the rog wants to spar me you want to spar me you want to spar me well then let's do so Oop, now you can't hear it at all. There you go. Yeah. Just hit him with a hammer. Smash it with a hammer. Alright. Oh my, the winds are getting restless. But anyway, so this is just kind of an interesting, right? Teaches you movement, 
mechanics, fighting, you know, against the combat. I do think that's also interesting, the way that it teaches you to, like, swivel and turn to face the enemy, because there are a lot of enemies who turn and will move on you, and there's a lot of times where that's not really um, hit upon. So anyway, we'll watch this next cutscene that's coming up. Uh, sorry it took so long for me to fix it. I, uh, my buddy who was helping me set up uh, was like, oh, increase your thing to this, and obviously that's not something this can this internet can handle i guess i don't know anyway it is relevant really grateful to him actually uh he's actually a fellow twitch streamer so if you ever get a chance so over to go over to dj brute's channel uh capital d lowercase j capital b lowercase r u t e uh he's got a spartan as his icon um because I can't remember if he has an underscore at the end of his uh, E there. But, uh, no, it's, um, he, he's really good. He's been helping me out a lot on this. Hopefully, if you guys have been along on this journey and ever go back, you'll, like, you can catch me on YouTube at iGlitch, which is at A, capital A, lowercase y-e, uppercase G, lowercase L-I-T-C-H, on YouTube. And I upload a lot, all these streams to them. And I'm also going to be posting uh, YouTube videos as well um because uh for the time being until the 16th fallen lucifer is how you will find me on twitch mm. but come the 16th that will no longer be the case i will go back to my actual name of i glitch so for right now that's just the hand that we've been dealt because i was getting a little presumptuous and naming stuff and didn't have it all figured out but if you've been here since the start and you ever go and watch my old streams because i've uploaded all of them um, I started this, this is my probably sixth stream, I think. So actually, I think they'll, they'll only find like three on YouTube because two of them were, uh, not, not great. Had some, had some internal issues with them. Uh, but anyway, uh, point being, um, started on a laptop using the webcam on the laptop and if you say, hey, Glitch, what's the what's the problem with using the, the thing? Well, the problem with using the, if you've ever seen a webcam, they suck. The internal webcams on laptops, even a good, I mean, it's a good gaming laptop, right? But it sucks. Like, it's not a good one. So, I, went, I started with that. Then I upgraded. How did I upgrade? Uh, let's fix everybody up here. Oh, I should go kill another Murloc. Hold on. I'm so close to level three, 4. It, it seems a shame not to kill an extra Murloc. Um, what was I saying? Uh, actually, we're going to do of the... Let's change my title real quick to of the Frost Wolves. Um, oh, man. i got to kill some more Murloc Murlocs. Dang it. I'm sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, so I started with that. I think the second stream, I was using my phone as a camera. My third stream, I had added a monitor, uh, a mo an extra monitor. My fourth stream, I added the Logitech webcam I'm using now and my fifth screen oh and also on my th fourth stream I upgraded to my desk back I went back to my desktop so now I'm on my desktop because I needed the memory space and stuff um so uh huh, that's an orc mage that's unique and interesting actually you don't see many of those people being played uh anyway um I saying? So yeah, the um, over the, the course of the time, and then uh, the fifth, the last stream, I was on the desktop. Two of the two monitors, the camera. I've always been using the ring light, but those types of things. And so I like to think. Um, oh, and I've added a stream deck now and some other stuff. So I like to think I'm coming. Oh, and this overlay that you'll see. Um, a lot of people were like, well, you don't just play World of Warcraft. And it's like, yeah, I don't just play World of Warcraft, but it is something I love, and it is something I'd love to stream more of. 
I am not a competitive. Uh, I do plan on doing a lot of PvP. Like I said, this character, I'm going to work on archaeology. Um, kind of a bunch of things. Because uh, I think the there's a lot of things, specifically Tolvir artifacts, and which is why I look forward to questing uh, in the Cataclysm, because I want to go down to Uldum, uh And which... Yeah, as soon as we are able to. I don't know how that works with the Chromie system. Uh, but... Um, yeah, we're going to do a bunch of things. I'm going to focus on alchemy, do some PvP, because I really want this set. Oh, that's the, the Castle Nathria. But no, this... Maybe not the Elite, but I'd like to at least get the Gladiator. I think it looks cool. So... And you're asking me why I pick a female. Well, I'll tell you why I picked a female. One, I think they're pretty. I think the I think female orcs look nice. Two, I think male orcs have too big a shoulders. Three, there's just a lot of there's not that much female I'm sorry, I'm not I'm again not trying to just like be PC or whatever, but there's not a whole lot of female orc representation, I think. Like you've got Agra Thrall's wife, but she rarely makes an appearance. Great Mother Gaia, who rarely makes an appearance. Uh, which, really, they haven't been involved since, like, the Burning Crusade and Cataclysm. Although, you do have Draka now with Shadowlands, who's getting more limelight, which I think is nice. But overall, there's just not enough. So I think having one is uh, more... Um, having one is, is more interesting. I think there's not enough. I think we need more. Uh, so anyway. But yeah, I plan on doing a lot. Um, so I'm hoping this will be a fun journey. Probably going to start focusing more on this as a whole uh, rather than the others. Don't get me wrong. I will occasionally go back to Resident Evil 7. Um, okay. There you go. This is Primal Strike, right? Yeah. Thanks for knocking me 800 meters away. I'm probably going to do Enhancement, just because I think Enhancement's much more fun. Like, the idea of holding, kind of like Thor's hammer, like, holding a hammer up and just, like, lightning striking it type concept. I think that's so cool. Interestingly enough, I had a replica, a pretty good replica Doom Hammer. It wasn't, like, the $300 one. It was a different type, but it was a really fun uh, Doom Hammer. It was, like, uh, Poly Resin, I think. The hard plastic, but it broke when I moved from. It partially broke when I moved from North Carolina to Can to here to Kansas, and then when I was moving to this apartment with my wife and daughter, it broke a lot of it, and I was just like, "Well, it's garbage now." So that was unfortunate. I'm hoping to replace it at some point, honestly. But there's a lot of things that I kind of want to get. Like I want to get a better microphone for this and some other things. So it is what it is. I'll eventually get one, hopefully. But yeah, I think shamans are uniquely my favorite one of my favorite books now i say it's one of my favorites but if you actually look at which book i've read the most if you looked at my like i love lord of the clans but it's more of a recent book that i got when they redid the the book series but the arthas rises the lich king book has like the not like the paperback like version has like so many creases in the spine it's ridiculous okay before i go charging into this I'm gonna take, we're gonna take a short little bathroom break. You guys get some, remember to stay hydrated, drink some water, as I'm doing now. Uh, go to the bathroom if you need her. And uh, we'll be, uh, we will be right back.
and we're back all right hope you guys are able to get some water and use the bathroom if you need it uh in case maybe oh no i gotta beat them i really wish i had ghost form right ghost will form right about now which uh we'll get here not not too late into the thing i need to get to that ogre overseer at the same time they do uh, looks like they're avoiding it actually which is interesting take well, this dude's just taking off all right I'll let them deal with that guy up there. I'm not too worried. He'll spawn pretty quickly. And the thing about this rare is, is don't think this rare is a rare rare. Even though it, it is a rare. The silver dragon indicates when something's a rare. But on this island, they're pretty quick to respawn most of the time. So I'm not too, too worried about it. There's this one. There's one over in the forest. It's just those two. A lot of this, a lot of the treasures and things you'll see, this is essentially a way to help new players understand the game a lot better. I like it because it's, again, it's a little different. You know, it's unique in its, uh, in its questing. I've done this a couple times. It took me a while to actually do it for the first time. Not because it's long. Yeah, as you'll see, this actually is a very short little, like, tutorial thing. And you get to level 10 really quickly. Faster than you would if you did the classic leveling. And you leave here with... Uh, almost an entire set with the exception of trinkets of and like maybe you might get yeah M for the most part all your armor will be uncommon quality uh, you except for your boots for some reason they have they didn't put boots that match the set into this so that's neither here nor there but there's a chance you can get a necklace an uncommon necklace as a drop uh, there's another chance that you can get a weapon neck piece ring or trinket of a rare quality because at the end of this island thing there's a dungeon it's an introduction to a dungeon except you don't have a like even though you have a defined uh role it really doesn't matter in the end so and you'll see that i'll, I'll point that out to you um oh shoot i need to go back and get the there while you uh make that thing come out i'm gonna go back and get this treasure chest over here that i almost walked by should have the bracers that we're searching for. But yeah, as far as all this stuff goes from my stream, I'd really like to thank, I don't know if she'll ever see it, but I'd really like to thank my wife. And I tell her this anyway, so it's not like a, she's not being told. But she is a large supporter and someone I definitely don't deserve in any way, shape, or form. Um, she's a very special woman, and she's done a lot, and this is largely because of her support. If I didn't have her support, I wouldn't be doing this. There's just no... Not not even if she didn't help me get the stuff. It's the, the simple fact of, you know, I support... Like, how's the way to phrase this? Because if I phrase this wrong, she's going to be like, you make me sound like a horrible person. But it's, but it, suffice to say, this just wouldn't be possible without her help, her support, and her patience. So. Something else I like about orcs, right? Theoretically. Is the concept of blood and honor, right? Is that honor is everything. So people like, uh... And we'll get to get to someone specifically in a little bit. But as far as orcs go, I can't remember his name. He was Overlord something in Cataclysm. He was in the Stone Talon Mountains, I believe. He drops their, I think it's a mana bomb, on like this druid village. And Garrosh shows up and is like, he, he's like, I did this for the Horde and all these other things. And he's like, you've, you've, you've butchered men, women, and children. Like you, you, you did, you, it's civilians. And he throws him off a cliff because he's like, you have no honor. And there's another one in Southern Barrens, who we will get to because I do like questing in the Southern Barrens, so don't worry. Um, 
the anyway so the southern barons has one where he like doesn't act on doing his thing like he doesn't act on doing his uh his job and the alliance basically overruns and slaughters a bunch of people and he tries to weasel his way out of it and then assassinate you and then uh i don't know if it's you or if it's someone else i know you help but i think another orc comes along and basically you he gets tossed out of a tower window to his death uh and actually let me I'm gonna do something real quick. Let me take. Let's take a quick pause. Drink some water if you've got it, or whatever you're having to have next to you. And uh, give me just a second. Okay, we're back. I had to take a short little... I had to do something there. Anyway, um... Now, I mentioned earlier the subject of Garish, right? Like, this concept of honor. I have stated this before, and I will state it again. I am not a blind follower of anybody, real life or thing. I don't believe in blindly trusting anybody. Unless they've it's good to always question right like even having been in the army right i still question i don't blindly with exception right okay like if i'm in a combat situation obviously i'm not gonna like i wasn't gonna question and be like oh hey but outside of that right uh i'm not gonna question an order that might get other people killed but i will question things if it seems like it's a little iffy uh so anyway back to my point i think garrosh was i think he did do things that were wrong i'm not gonna say he's like it's the whole like garrosh did nothing wrong but let's let's not kid ourselves he was not written the way he was in cataclysm or the burning crusade or wrath of the lich king or Cataclysm, like his character in Mists of Pandaria was an entirely separate character. Like, completely just butchered for the narrative. Listen to this cutscene real quick. CV Hazmat CVR. You lost me on that one. What? <laughs> also, hello friend. Hope your day's going well, or your day went well. CV hazmat CVR. I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Gibberish. Um. But anyway, so I don't think he was. He was. He was. I think they changed a lot. Like, as you can see in the Stone Tower Mountains, right, when he throws the guy for bombing innocent civilians, right? It's a completely different way of... Like, that's, that's pretty clear-cut. But then he turns around at the beginning of Mr. Pandaria and throws a mana bomb on Theramore, right? Which makes no sense. Absolutely zero sense to me that he would go and do something like that. But... Yes, I be speaking to a spirit. Okay, before we go that way, we're going to get some Veil Blossoms. Because this, actually, this quest we're about to do is going to give us our Ghost Wolf form. So a lot of things are actually a little compacted in these, like, abilities we're getting. Most, for the most part, they're the same. But I don't believe you get Ghost Wolf as early as level 6, I can tell you that much. Um, but... No, I think his character was just entirely changed as a whole. Like, it wasn't... 
it, it was just it, it just it just came out of nowhere and I, I didn't like that I thought he was an excellent war chief he's much even with right all the screw-ups he's still a better war chief than Sylvanas he didn't commit straight genocide against an entire people who didn't deserve it because I don't care how you swing that firebombing an entire now I get it with the whole jailer and everything that's been explained since then but I will don't worry all the spirits of the dead um I like that the shamanistic uh, roots you get a lot more like more of a reaction when doing them than the other classes because shamanism to orcs is everything don't worry, I intend to. But yeah, I think his character was entirely just destroyed. But you can't tell me that the fight between Garrosh and Thrall, right? At the end of Warlord of Genor, or at least the Negron storyline, right? Was not awesome. And I, 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 okay, right? So a couple things about Thrall goes up and challenges Garrosh to, to mock Gara, which we, we all know. For those of us who have done it. So, a little knowledge for those of you who don't know. Makgara is a duel of honor, essentially translated in, in Orkish. So, the Makgara states that two people, one challenges another to a Makgara. Now, in Orkish society, to turn down it is cowardly. Right? And there's there's also another, um, I can't think of the name. But Makgara is usually lethal. It's to the death. 99.9% .9 of the time. There's another version where it ends with one person. There's an, another form of a mock hurrah, and I can't think of what it's called, where it's till the other submits. and Or rather, excuse me, not to submits, it's until the other person can no longer stand because you don't want to surrender either in that version. It's basically as long as you keep fighting till you either pass out, get knocked out, or can't stand up anymore, but keep trying, then both are celebrated as winners in that that round it's it's basically a friendly like fist fight with weapons sometimes but magara is entirely entirely different yeah so remember how i said that would be useful thank you ghost form See, that increases our speed by a good 30%. Oh, all right, so I'll make traveling a little bit easier. Anyway, so... Hold on, I gotta remember my train of thought, right? It just... Well, anyway, Mont Gras, right? So... The mock raw, the first one we ever read about, rather, because we never see it, the first one we read about is between, actually, excuse me, it's alluded to in Wrath of the Lich King when Garrosh challenges Thrall to it then, and they about duke it out, but they're interrupted. In Cataclysm, in the book The Shattering, right, when everything changed, Karn Bloodhoof, Bane Bloodhoof's father, the old leader of the Torin challenges Garrosh to Makura for leading the horde because Garrosh is was hot headed, I will admit. I don't know if Bane would have been exactly the best choice given in any situation, but it, the, anyway, neither here nor there in retrospect. I should have put my flame tongue on. Um, you can also get a ring from these spiders, just FYI, so sometimes it's worth killing them. If you can. Um, and the status of Makura, what I was trying to get at is you pick, you are allowed one weapon, which can be fists. It can be anything you choose. It does, like, for the instance in Karn, Karn chose the old Bloodhoof spear, the, the spear of that line. And Garrosh, of course, chose Gorhal, which was his father's, right? His iconic weapon. Both of their iconic weapons, I guess. And 
Garrosh, right, a shaman blesses each one's weapon. Um, but Karn has, or Garrosh has his blessed by Magatha Grim Totem, who Magatha wanted Karn dead anyway, so she poisons his thing and basically does, in fact, cheat him out of a clean win because when the axe just nicks Karn, the poison in it just absolutely demolishes uh, Karn, and he dies shortly thereafter when Garrosh buries Gorhal in his chest. So, but, the point is, is you choose the armor, right? Like, both Karn and Garrosh fought in loincloth, and they're one weapon. <clears throat> and, so, when Ger Thrall challenges Garrosh to the next one we see at the end of the Negron storyline, to save your life because you're getting your face beat in by Garrosh, it, Thrall challenges Garrosh to Makara, which is fitting because the two of them have things to deal with. Um, so, yeah. They fight, right? They have their regular armor. He's got Doomhammer. He's got Gorhal. The two of them go at it. Technically, right, by the rules of Makara, it was clear Garrosh was probably going to beat the tar and kill the Thrall, like, in a fair fist of fit. Look at the difference in size. Garrosh was huge. He's ma a massive orc, right? Thrall is not. And so that becomes very apparent uh, that that isn't going to work. Uh, and so he tur he uses the elements as a weapon. Grabs Garrosh in the, the stone fist and strikes him with lightning, killing him. This is not a spoiler. This is from 2014. So that's seven years. Well past the spoiler timeline. Just saying. Anything older than two years I do not consider a spoiler. Um... So, like, or that's not the current expansion. Let me rephrase that. Anything that's not current expansion, I don't consider a spoiler. So, anyway, back to where I was. So, Garrosh is killed by Thrall, right? By the technicality of how Makara works, Thrall cheated. But... It can also be said it was very necessary because let's be honest, Garrosh was needed to be needed to die one way or the other. But elements work like the light. You have to have faith in your ability to wield it in order for it to work for you. Thrall believed he was no longer worthy to wield the elements because he felt like he abused them to kill Garrosh, which in some way could be considered true. So that's why he loses the Doom Hammer in Legion, because he just it's dead weight in his hand because he's, his faith in and of himself and his ability to wield the elements diminishes and he doesn't feel like he's any worthy. He's not worthy of it, rather. What level is that guy? Seven? Oh, I'm already seven. I'm actually way ahead of him. Um, and then we get to the most recent mock Marah when get when now those are technicality cheatings right like Garrosh didn't know Magatha poisoned his axe Thrall needed to stop uh needed to absolutely stop Garrosh but in, in all honesty, there was no there was no reason for Sylvanas to do what she did, right? She picks up, or she basically she's looks like she's winning, then she starts losing. But and and there is a point to all this, right? Um, she does her thing. Sourfang dies, and you know the. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm 
I again apologize for my uh, uh, memory but um, she cheated now that was in front of a lot of witnesses Garrosh could get away with it being accidental you know he didn't know and he didn't stop Magatha from getting her just rewards because he was mad because he didn't get his vengeance the way he wanted it but um yeah Sour Fang if Sylvanas had not right abandoned the horde in those split moments right dang did I miss it yeah I missed it ah drat that uh that that was one of the other rares in the on the map there and uh in the corner in your upper right hand corner and that one dropped a bag so it's not a huge loss because you'll get you'll fill up on bags anyway but anyway so back to my original point she would never have been able to keep oh and let's not forget the warcraft movie right which a lot of story inaccuracies but we'll ignore those and just go for the fact of the the mock girl between Gul'dan and Duratan, right Gul'dan if he hadn't had had all the power he had would have absolutely lost the horde if that had been the reality of the story the orcs do not do and that's why in the movie when Lothar kills Blackhand in the Makara. Nobody stops him. Nobody kills him, even though Gul'dan orders him to, because he won honorably. He won fairly. You do not disrespute you do not respute the outcome as long as it's won fair and square and honorably. So Sylvanas lost the following in the horde by cheating and killing Sourfang anyway. She absolutely lost him. So that was a no-go, as they, as drill sergeants like to say. Uh, yeah. So, point being, way back to my original point, like <laughs> 15 minutes ago, orcs, everything revolves around honor. If you have none, you're worth nothing. Okay. Which is why I love the orcs. I, when I was a kid, right, I've been playing this since 2004, December of 2004. I was nine. I just turned nine the month before. And I did play up until 2008, took a three-year break, and came back in 2011. And then started understanding more of the game. Um, but anyway, let's sell this stuff. Switch out my pants. Um, all right, now back to my point. Uh, we're going to take this elite quest over here and hopefully we can kill this bear. I have faith in our ability. I have faith in us. Assuming somebody hasn't come along and killed this thing already. Nope, should be over here around the corner. Okay. We're going to put this out right about there. I missed that, that charge. This is supposed to be done with a group, but there are certain classes that can do it them on their own. Warlocks, one of them. Hunters, another one of them. There are several that cannot do it on their own. Mage can get it if you are really good. If you get good at the kiting. Oh, aha! Okay, so that's this is how we're gonna buy time right here. Yeah, we're not gonna have any issues with it. Not on shaman anyway. Let's heal ourselves real quick. Um, almost. Yeah, there we go. Soloed that guy. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, so when I started, right, obviously I love the undead because the undead were... I hate to say it, but they they were edgy. And so I was like, oh, yeah, they're undead. Bones, not because they were necessarily edgy, just because I like the look of them. Bones, death, dead, 
which I guess you can say to edgy. Again, I was nine. I was in fourth grade, and that's what appealed to me, so take that as you will. Um, but, uh, yeah, but as I've gotten older, uh, I really have enjoyed... Um, I've, I've really enjoyed... Um, yeah, turn me into the thing. This is when he's going to turn us into an ogre, and we're going to sneak into camp. Oh, yeah. Two things. One, I always keep for this... Nope. For this island thing, I suggest having the dance wave, and you'll see why here, right? We're going to go up here. You're going to need to wave, and you're going to need to dance. And technically, the dancing is optional, but you need to wave. And normally, it's going to have you type out down here, like slash wave or whatever. But I have these, so I can just click and boom, done. And then you don't need them anymore. So I've ran this so many times, it was like I just was going to see, click, waves. And then the optional over here, dance. And that takes care of that. And then we just get rid of them. But yes, so. But as I've gotten older, I like the. F I still like the Forsaken. I still think they're cool. Um, but I think the orcs are arguably where it is. Now, if you look, if you watch the Warcraft movie, one thing they did get right, and Metzen pointed this out, the great wisdomous Metzen uh, pointed out the size comparison between the orcs and the humans in the movie is lore standard and is true to the game and lore itself. Like, that is the size difference. Like, there's a scene where Duratan sneaks up on uh, Garona and Kedgar, and his hand is, like, covering the entire, like, like, basically his whole head, almost. Oh, hey, there's that necklace I was talking about that you have a chance of getting on a drop. So we'll just equip that. Um, so yeah, uh, let's tag that thing. Uh, but yeah, and they're like twice, like Garrosh comes up to like th his stomach to, and to point that out, a... What's the word I'm looking for? Man, the shoulders are so big on you, bro. See what I'm talking about? Look how big those shoulders are. It's so ridiculously sized. Also, I didn't like the way, because I plan on going Vinthyr, I did not like the way the male set with the sin stone on the back looked. Because it, it was so crushed up with the orc even standing upright. Especially standing upright, I guess. Okay, got all those. We got lucky on that one. Now, we have to slay eight ogres. This is the hard part. Why, you say? Because there's three people here, and trying to kill them all is hard, because you're trying not to step over each other. Like, there were two up here when I got, when I was over here last time. Yeah, okay, they're still here, so that's good. I'm going to tag that one. Tag that one. So now we just have to kind of wait for the others to respawn. But yeah, I like the Torin. I like the trolls. I just like. I don't get me wrong. I love the dwarves mostly because of Lord of the Rings and Baldur's Gate growing up. Um, I think the gnomes are funny. I think they're like I like them, but I don't like playing them. Not the gnomes anyway. Night elves are cool. I think all the races are fascinating, right? Like, I would probably play each and every race. I don't like the way the Kul Tirans look. I love their culture. I just wish they weren't all made, like, forced to be that way. Okay, so that's five of eight down. We gotta find three up. Oh, speak of the devil. There's one back this way. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah. Go on, rogue, stab it in the back. Oh, hey. We'll see if any of them end up being that are in this gonna be that are running around are gonna be in our uh, thing. So I know there's an orc mage running around, an undead mage running around. See what happens. Oh, yeah. Boop. I do have the cart that's for the heirlooms. I just don't like using it. I'd rather I mean at level ten. So you can see how close we are to level 10 and I'm basically 90% sure if when we go in like if we're not before we will be when we go in we'll be level 10 you can get pretty close here I mean I could have killed you know extra yeah we're gonna be about a thousand about 900 points short I think maybe even 700 or so but yeah I don't like the Cultians. I don't. The Mechanomes are, are cool in and of themselves, but, you know, okay. So now, right, we've reached this dungeon thing. So you go here to your dungeon finder. You want to have this. I like doing the leader rolls because I'm very used to a lot of these, most 90% of these dungeons. Oh, there we go. Looks like I'm the only one going in in this one. So we'll see if anybody joins us because for like a short little window, like other people can join into the dungeon. It doesn't have to be solo. Okay, so we did. So we got the Orc Mage and the Orc Rogue. So yeah, the three of us are going into this. Okay, cool. We'll just kind of here. Let's yeah, let's stack them up with the Mage because the Mage's got that Arcane Blast, which kind of helps with the AOE there. Um, AOE, if you don't know, means area of effect. Just for wisdom. Oh, hey, the guy buffs us with that thing. Cool. I had, don't think I have any buffs. I mean, not until you get... Where is it? Bloodlust is the... We'll get to that much many parts from now or however long that takes. Um... That can't. That has to be an all-around. No, I bet it's enhancement only, isn't it? Yep. Wind Fury Totem. Wind Fury Totem. If you ever played in Classic or play or vanilla or play Classic, excuse me, um, increases people's attacking speed, and in Classic slash vanilla gave them a extra proc chance to hit which in vanilla was a huge boost so they were usually brought to that also elemental shaman or enhancement shaman used to be uh used to be pretty um what's the word i'm thinking of used to be feasible like you could be a dual like a two-handed attacking shaman enhancement shaman instead of dual wielding like that was perfectly viable but they stopped making that and wanted you to dual wield which i don't mind but i would like the option i mean think about it monks right now can now use a two-handed or a one-handed come on come on give me some loot s ish because when we get to the other place we'll worry about that so ha see okay so we got our rare weapon so I don't think we'll get anything other than that uh moving on. anyway so uh yeah but like monks can now use a two-handed or dual wield frost death knights can now dual wield again or or excuse me use a two-hander or dual wield again uh, it used to be like brewmaster monks were forced to wield a two-hander and uh, Windwalker was forced to do dual wielding, but now they can either do either or for both of those specs in Monk. And then, um, uh, like I was saying, 
uh, that Frost Death Knights could only dual wield. They took away their ability to use the two-handers. Not necessarily their ability, but the effectiveness of doing that, right? So. I like Elemental. I like Shaman in general. I think it's one of the nicest looking classes in the game. Like, now granted, armor set wise, Warlock takes the cake. But spell ability, like the way the thunder and the lightning crashes, right? The way the 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 just the way the spells look and sound is so astronomically good um, that it's just it's so much fun. It's just fun, right? And ultimately, that's what I'm looking for is a, is a class that's fun, a class that has more than one role I can do. Like I don't mind being enhancement or an elemental. Restoration that's a healing spec. I don't like healing, it makes me stressful, but like if somebody was really desperate, I, I would be, you know, I, I would do what I could as long as they didn't like beat me over the head with how much I suck. But it can also self heal itself, which is so vitally important to me. I hate classes that cannot heal on command. I hate it. Alright, hey, look at that, we're level 10. Hey, and we got a trinket? Nice. Nice. We ended up two for two. We got a weapon and that. You can also get a cloak or a ring, but we ended up two for two, so I'll take what I can get. All right, so we are going to take up enhancement. So we're actually going to switch this over here, keep that right where it is for Actually, we're going to move this over here, move this here. Make sure we haven't missed anything. Ah, Wind Fury weapon, of course. And we'll wait on that until, well, see what, we'll actually put this in the slot for now. There we go. Right, I think we got all of our spells. Yeah, okay. So now we'll take our helmet. Put on our helmet. And now we're going to leave this island. So yeah, that is essentially Excel's Reach. That is a new, basically, tutorial. It's a lot of fun. It's short, to the point. Teaches you how to play your class. And I think, overall, it is a phenomenal thing. So we'll just kind of listen into their conversation and then there's going to be a short little cutscene when we fly into Orgrimmar and from there we'll uh we'll keep hitting the ground running and see we'll uh we gotta follow you don't have to do the next part and I'll, I'll explain that in a little bit um so, well yeah we'll just wait till we get there shall we I think that sounds like a good plan Have a little bit of water here. Okay, and then now we're going to see the cutscene. Assuming this loads. Okay, here we go.
Uh, trade chat, you still haven't changed. 15 years of World of Warcraft now going on 16, and it has not changed. Oh, uh, I think it skipped the cutscene. I Sometimes it does that. For some reason, like, doing that, if you, like... Or if I take Zeppelins or whatever, it... I don't know. Yeah, everything's loading in. So, for the mean... Oh, no, here we go. Okay, okay, there we go. I was like, he's just standing on here. Okay, and that changes, that little intro with the orcs, that changes based on your race as well. Okay, so expeditionary mail. Okay, so let's put on our chest piece here so we're all decked out. So at this point, if you have already done, uh, done this before, or rather have done, excuse me, if you have done Zandalar or Kul Tiris if you're Quarter Alliance, on a character before, then you have this option right here called I know how to my way around Orgrimmar slash Stormwind, and you can skip the city tour and just go straight to getting into the game. However, it is worth doing because you have to go and get your skill writing trainer anyway. This takes you to that person, right? So it's a bunch of extra experience going in a direction you have to go anyway. And at any point in time, you can always stop this part of the tutorial whenever you see a person. So. It's just a little extra work, but like you're already getting four. Here's an extra fourteen hundred. We'll count it up as we go, shall we? Oh, yeah, stable master. It's and you know he does actually. Yeah, it looks like he's walking right, but he actually runs. He doesn't run the fastest, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Interesting. There's something he's going to say here where he says president company excluded, which is only if you're in work. Yeah, he only says president company excluded if you're in work. Otherwise, he's just like, they ain't hospitable. <laughs> I would love to fly the Ashes of Alar, but I feel like Ashes of Alar on a non-Blood Elf character is just wrong. <laughs> just wrong. You are a warlock. Interesting. And again, this isn't set in stone. I'm still kind of trying some things out, so like, I may go to the Orc Warlock I have, or the Undead Warlock, or, you know, whatever the case may be. I'm always looking for whatever's fun, and what I want to do long term, right? So that's always what it comes down to. Normally I have it pretty nailed out because I was pretty set on Warlock. My problem is I'm someone who likes melee. I hate sometimes the time frame of casting spells. If that makes any sense. Like I don't like the way it t the amount of time it takes. There's that gap. I like instant spell. Now I like having the what I like is the ability to be ranged and melee. Like if I like and what I mean by that is right like tagging a person, right? Tagging an enemy. If there's a person about to kill an enemy and you're melee, unless you're next to him, you're not going to get there. But if you're a... Uh, if you're a... Like someone like a shaman, right? You can be melee, but also you have this ability to shoot a ranged spell right instantaneously and you can tag that creature even if you're not close enough to melee hit it and you still get credit for it which i really really like 
So, okay, so he's going to go here, right? So we've already got 700. So that's an extra 1,400 experience. 2,100 experience, excuse me. Just for doing something we would have done anyway. So you can see kind of the benefit. And she, and also, if you haven't done this before, right, and you don't have this set of wolf, you'll get a free mount doing this quest, right? Saves you some money. Uh, and even if you already have a mount, right, yeah. yeah, we'll keep it there. Anyway, so that's 2100 experience and a free mount, or in this case, even if you have the mount, 25 silver. Which, if you're really rich, doesn't make a difference, but if you're like me and pathetically poor, it makes all the difference. So now we gotta choose kind of a mount. I like, we'll kind of move this down here. So, one thing that's for certain, right, is we'll keep. Until we get there, we'll add kind of a list here. <sighs> no, black paw, nah, no. Nope. Could go with the elemental theme, but horses just don't make sense to me. Un uh, orc. That's just me. So this is definitely a, a possibility on the flying mount, right? Frostwolf Snarler, definitely a possibility. Grand Expedition Yak will always be down there because I like having the ability to transmog now. The Grove Warden, I like Moose, but, you know. Uh, Calderai, Night Saber, Lothian Prowler. No, no. No. Two on the nose. Primal Flame Saber. Possibly, because it is an elemental and it does fit in our. Although, Sin Runner Blanche, right? Okay, now this goes back to my horse thing, right? But because I'm doing Venthyr, that one's really tempting to do. Um, okay. Also, we're going to hit this and learn... Oh, I'm still in the tutorial, right? Can't, uh, can't use that yet. But we are going to take this, because... Duh. But, uh, pet journal, right? So, we're kind of, so we got our Alterac group up, right? That's a possibility. Amalgam of Destruction, right? That's a possibility. Animal Wormling from Shadowlands. Anubis, our new, or Anubis, our Anubis of Idol. Possibility. Bright Paw, no. Cinder Kitten, we already have you leveled up. So, I like, I tend to like to do, um, Maybe something like Little Ragnaros is still needing to be leveled up. Uh, Mr. Pickles, Red Nipples, Blaze. Okay, interesting fact, right? So this, oh, you... <laughs> Let me move myself over for a second. This Sapphire Cub, right, is named Cora. I named this pet when I got it in 2012, right? Have not thought about this pet since then at all. Like, I named it, was going to use it, just never got around to it. I mean, I leveled it a little bit, as you can see, but I never really paid attention to it. This is 2012. Seven years later, my daughter was born, who we named Cora. And I went back into this, right? And I was like, huh. So I just thought that's cool, and I don't change it simply because this is my cub, and that's my cub, so I don't change anything. Anyway, Reginald, Snowfang, Pup of Thralls, Frostwolf. This is what we're going to use. One, it needs to be leveled up anyway, and uh, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to work on that one. Anyway, okay, so now let's look at our options here, right? Move me back over here. Anyway. Click off of that. Anyway. So now, what are our options? So we can use... Let's get a little better lighting here. It's not terrible. Okay. But not great. So between those two, this one loses. The hyena. So the snarler, which is really cool because we're going for the frost wolf, right? 
so that one's a good good possibility, right? so hard to okay move this over move this over move this over move this down here let's look at how it looks with an orc right I like to imagine Blancy because it's dead I mean the wolf is just such an iconic mount right Dang, I hate this so much. All right, we'll we'll try. You know what? Tell you what, we'll try both of them. See which one we have more. So anyway, so that's twenty one hundred points, right? So here's another seven hundred, basically to go down and talk about specializations. Now there are a couple reasons why I would recommend doing this quest. You don't have to, right? You don't have to do this quest, right? You could have stopped by now. But if you're a mage, this is a good chance to learn Arcane Momentum, which basically instead of always blinking forward, it blinks you, or whichever way you're facing, it blinks you in whichever direction you're moving. So if you're moving to the left, it blinks you left. Instead of if you were moving left anyway, but pointed forward, you would blink forward despite going this way. So, there are always reasons to do certain things. So, but anyway, again, five seconds, you pick your speciality, which you probably have done already, but there you go. So that's 2,800, here's another 700. Also, talk to this person, right? Sell this stuff, right? Now, agility, stamina, stamina. Okay, so this expeditionary axe, we can choose the axe and choose the cudgel. I'm a fan of the axe because I like axes. So we're gonna buy the axe, right? We're gonna because it's also higher item level, it does more damage than the nine, right? Close that out. Sell this. Let's uh, re arm our equipment. Pull out snowfang again. All right, so now we've gotten 2,800 extra. We're level 11, which means now we can use glyphs, which will be important in a second here. So we talk to them, make this in our home. We get our hearthstone. So there's 3,500 experience. Suja comes in, extra 180. Talk to Cork. So we'll talk to him. Yeah. So this is where we get an extra 180. All right. Now we've seen Sin Runner. So now we'll or Blanche. So now we'll look at the Frost Wolf Snarler. From an RP perspective, this also makes more sense because you got your bedroll, some satchels, and things. That makes more sense. So anyway, yeah. I've been playing Warlock for like a good several, like a couple weeks now, like again, and I'm so used to having a pet that I'm like keep looking for it, and I'm like, where's the dumb pet? And I'm like, oh, it's it's not here. So let's talk to the cooking trainer, right? Spice bread. I don't want to learn Cataclysm, although because I plan on going to Oldham. We'll just pick it up anyway. And you'll I'll, I'll point out my problem with doing that, right? Oh, we should probably go back and talk to the alchemy trainer because I wanted to do that, alchemy and herbalism. Anyway, when you take a profession, right? Whatever the most recent, like normally this would say, if I had just taken regular cooking, it would say cooking one to 300. But because I also picked up cataclysm and cataclysm is a later cooking skill it uses cataclysm cooking so as I level up regular cooking it doesn't show me that because well 
Hmm. I think I have all of these things right. Yeah, okay. That should be salvage, alchemy, and potions right here. Regions, general goods. Regions were used to be so much more important than they are now. All right, yell back. Train me. Yeah, we'll pick up that. Okay, so the herbalism trainer. It's enchanting. Let's see what the general goods guy has for sale for a quick second here. Not what I need. Regions, maybe? I don't think so. Regions were way more important, and that's where you got stuff for certain spells in vanilla. Uh, and you still do in classic. Uh, we may play classic at some point if there's interest in it. I like classic. It's just extremely difficult. This is so streamlined. And I know where things are, and I've done this a million times, so I, I, I basically have a, a pretty good idea. So we're looking for herbalism. I should have picked up fishing. Okay, so it's, yeah, I go upstairs. I thought it was above enchanting, and I was correct. No, I'm confused. I asked confusion. Maybe it's next door? Yep, it's next door. Okay. I'll do that. We'll do this. A lot of things, the way things worked, changed a lot. 12 slot herbalism bag. Mm, nah. I don't buy those bags simply because I just find them a waste of space, rather. So I'm going to send myself about 200 gold here in a second. Cooking? What? What is... What is this? I love how I say, I've done this a million times, blah, 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 and then I just turn around and straight up just go... Wow, I didn't know this building was here. None of that I can use by the time I'm done here. But... Let's create a spice bread. So the reason you create spice bread, right? I highly recommend doing this. It's not expensive. But spice bread, for rate for everybody but Pandaren, can get you from level 1 to 40 of cooking skill. If you're Pandaren, it'll get you to 50. So I highly recommend doing it. It's the fastest way to get to 40 or 50 cooking skill, which opens, like, you can't see it, but it opens up. It opens up a bunch of cooking skills like here you see calderized spider kebab you know what, actually you know what you don't need to see oh shoot <laughs> my bad hey, it's a learning process right how's that look that should be better it doesn't block that there we go we're just gonna leave me in the bottom left hand corner for the rest of time anyway so yeah but it opens up these um Kaboobs. Kebabs. Excuse me. Kebabolish. Uh, Nocturnal Dragon. Oh, there's Silver Moon. So yeah, it's got us to 35 so far. 30, at 30 it goes yellow, at 35 it goes green. So the five last points are sometimes kind of difficult to grab. So if it gets real close, like we're 36, 37, 38. You just had to move, didn't you? You made my life so much difficult. Yeah, we're not gonna make 40. Made it 38, so we're gonna buy five. Sometimes it takes more, sometimes it takes more, sometimes it takes less. But again, it's still kind of worth it. 
We need one more point. We got two more to do it. We need one more point. We got one more to do it. Dang it, sometimes you get like that. One of the things I miss back from like Cataclysm Pandaria era with guilds is that guilds gave you a greater chance of gaining um dang it, we still didn't get it. Sheesh. This is the worst luck I've had with this. I've made 70 of these things so far. At this point, I'm just going to buy another 10. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. But the bright side is we get one silver back, so that's going to be four silver we get back. Not that it makes a difference once you get a certain amount of gold. Okay, we got our one point left. So, now, close this out. Oh, nope. <laughs> Gotta keep that open so we can actually do our thing. Okay, so we made it to 40. We'll sell the spice bread because there's no reason to keep it. All right, cooking trainer, right? So we can make the kebabs, the wolf meat, and the venison jerky. So that gives us a little bit, a few more things that we can go and cook. Now, if you have the money, and I eventually plan on buying a token because I want to level my alchemy and cooking uh the fester way because i don't think i will get it done by 50. yeah 50 by the time shadowland starts i probably we're probably going to do all of our questing in shadowland in classic slash cataclysm zones because i just all right we'll sit here for this Um, I like to call myself a Kana Lightning Eye. Thank you very much. Or Kana Iron Bane. That'll make sense later. Um, yeah, yeah. I hate this. I, I am so, okay. That's a spoiler technically because I said I wouldn't spoil anything that was modern without let me rephrase that I will spoil it but I'm going to give you a warning so here's your warning for the following spoiler right spoiler alert yep. not that there's actually going to be a spoiler alert in my hands but just a spoiler alert there um him getting killed by Taronda beautiful the fact that he got killed mid monologue so great all right so that's how you start battle for azeroth there i'm not going to do that because i don't want to go to zoldazar i think zoldazar is a complete absolute waste of time so nothing interesting wait is this thing making me do this oh no Oh, all right. Well, okay. So this is a change of plans. I didn't back out of the tutorial as soon as I should have. <laughs> you back out at that point or else you're stuck doing this. So I guess we get to watch the cutscene of the opening of Zoldazar. Or Zandalar, rather. Oh, that was my bad. Um, yeah. For all you troll lovers out there, I hope you guys get your beards. Oh, okay. Also, speaking of troll beards, undead beards, right? They have hair. They have hair. Why? If his corpse can have a beard, why can the rest of them not have beards? What happened? Okay. 
I got real scared there for a minute. I thought it was about to crash on me. Oof, that I can see the struggle you guys were having over here. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and say right now, if it crashes, I will have it up, and there will be a part. This will end up being a two-parter, right? Because let's hopefully get through this. I'm the internet is doing its daily struggle at this time of night. I don't know why. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, so I don't know if that kind of blanked out or anything. But undead, right? Trolls want beards. And I get that, and I agree with that. But right, Nathanos is dead. He's in a corpse. He has the beard, right? Undead have hair. Why do the males not have the option for a beard? Tell me that. skip this so bad because I'm afraid of the internet cutting out on us but I do like watching it Okay, now that we're through that, didn't have any issues on our internet till that, so maybe the internet's gonna play along now, but at least we had a good most of our stream there, or, you know, after the first hour, or half hour, excuse me. Can you not? As we wait for to see, make sure this kind of fixes itself. I hate this. Hold on. Okay, so we're gonna hold off on that. I should have done the beer at back screen, so I apologize for that. Okay. Can I now? Yeah, we're getting a lot of latency. So we can now do this time walking campaign. We're gonna hearth back to Orgrimmar because I don't want to do any more of this. I just dislike it so much. I dislike Kaltiris was phenomenal. Zandalar, no, Zandalar sucked, and that's and that's objective. It's it's atrocious. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh... Okay, so now we're gonna go talk to Chromie. So, two things we need. We need to pick up fishing, which I should have done back there because we literally spawn next to it, and archaeology. Those are the last two professions we need to pick up before we go on our merry way, shall we? So, yeah. If we cannot start 
I guess this really depends on where it'll let us start for uh, for um, which which area will let us start with. If we let us start in Aldum, we'll start in Aldum. If it makes us start in lower than that, we'll try Southern Barrens because I like the Southern Barrens. If it doesn't let us. Well, Southern Baron should be before winter spring by that calculation, I believe. Okay, somewhere around here is a fishing trainer. I am 99.9% .9 sure. Fishing trainer, hey! Good old memory. We're just going to train all of these. Might as well. Do you have the strong fishing pole? We're going to take that because, well, it'll pay off later. All right. I'm still seeing you guys are getting some lag, so we're going to try and... Uh, Okay. Adventure time. Where is it? Cataclysm. All right, archaeology trainer should be around here somewhere. If not, I definitely know there's one down by the person bandage trainer, tailoring trainer, stable master. Yeah, if he died, he, he did die. Um, bus Mida for tallness. Anyway, so let's. I'm hoping to make it to midnight. That's the goal is to do. You know, two and a half hours. I would have kept going till twelve thirty, but I have a feeling that the internet's not going to play ball with us for much longer. So we're going to learn archaeology and pick our next destination. I'm hoping the internet lasts long enough to let us do that. Fortify the barons. Okay, so it automatically let us do that. That's nice. Okay, now uh, let's go in here. Calendar. Okay, to do Aldum, we need to be level 30. Whew, that sucks. We can do Southern Barrens. We can do Winter Spring. Southern Barrens, Winter Spring. What else can we do? Anything else we really want to do here? No. So what we'll do is we'll do Southern Barrens, Winter Spring. We'll go to Outland and uh, do some questing there. So yeah, we'll do Southern Barrens first, then Winter Spring. You used to require level 20 to get archaeology, now you can just be level 5. Unfortunately, I think you still have to have the... I think that's to start Pandaria. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I trig. We're gonna hold on to this one because that's actually kind of useful because we'll probably end up doing that and that's free experience. It's free real estate. Um, okay. That is now everything.
Yeah, so we have up through Draenor Master, which means these are all connect consecutive. Which unfortunately means that we have to do basically these, which is gonna suck. Well, yeah, that's not. Unfortunately, that's not. It's not working as intended, or that was my idea has kind of been derailed. But I think we can still have. We'll still have fun in the Barrens and uh, Winter Spring, and uh, maybe some Outland, and then we'll get to. Uh, you know, we'll get to. We'll get. We'll get to Oldham. So that's my goal. Is those three of those places, and maybe I don't know if we'll do Negrand or. Uh, Hellfire Peninsula. So, we'll see. Alright, keep going up, keep going up. There we go. Alright, now, we are going to. First off, we're going to pick up this. This. I was going to say, why can't I go to Okay, so now we got our tabard. Shows experience bar. We're going to pull this up. Ah, uh, we're not going to customize anything except we're going to make this invisible. I just think it's nice. It's just a fair point to make it invisible. Oh, yeah, I can, make, I can wear that starting off. And I forgot you can wear these like starting off point. Anyway, uh, all right. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our our toy box that I mentioned earlier. Learn our flight path places. I don't remember having that. <laughs> That's kind of convenient. Well, shoot. Anyway. Um, okay, he'll fly us to the closest, oh, dang it, I should have talked to, that was a free 16 slot bag from the Dark Moon Fair, yeah, we'll worry about it later, I think it's the whole first week, so today's Tuesday, so we have a couple more days. Man, we're having some lag, so... We'll get to the Southern Barrens. We'll get to the first end point, uh, which is right after, like I think, like two quests to get up the road. We'll make sure we get all our quests. We'll make sure our bags are empty. We'll set our hearthstone there, and uh, we'll call it a night. How's that sound? Sounds pretty good. The internet's still holding out for us, so I will take my blessings as I can get them. <laughs> so I, I. If you've stuck around, I thank you for watching my stream this far, uh, despite our internet technical difficulties, technical difficulties. So yeah. Aside from the lag, it's been a fun stream. Uh, again. Well, I'll kind of go over tonight's plan, but, well, actually, I should go over it now. I've got good internet. So, follow me on Twitter, at iGlitch, A-Y-E-G-L-I-T-C-H, uh, and I post when I'm streaming, but I po I stream Tuesday and Thursday nights at least, uh, nine starting at 9.30, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. I put the time on Twitter and uh, stream at least till 12, 12.30. So, uh... Yeah, usually, actually, probably 9.30 to 12.30, so about a good three hours. So come join me here, like, follow me there, so that way you can get notified. Uh, you can watch this here, and this will also be uploaded to my uh, YouTube, which is the same at iGlitch. So, um, uh, so, yeah. And uh, don't forget to follow. Uh, that way, whenever my videos go live, you're alerted and notified that they're live. Uh, subscribe to me on YouTube as well. 
and follow me on Twitter, like I said. So that way you know right when my updates come, and that way you can be uploading. Because I will be uploading not just these videos to YouTube, but I'll be making other videos uh, to upload to YouTube. Maybe some just Among Us, some Resident Evil, different games that I play, maybe some Sea of Thieves, whatever the case may be. So please subscribe, and uh, yeah, we can catch you can catch my content there and on here. So that way you can, if you don't get a chance to watch it on Twitch, you can watch it on YouTube. So, and uh, if you like what you see, tell your friends. So yeah. All right. Get these quests done, and uh, get to our point. Okay. So where did we get? dropped off okay we're next to the reply road okay so we'll just follow the the road one of the cool things about the Venthyr though is the I think it's called a bear hmm Nope. I really want that thing. I think that thing's dope as crap. <coughs> A little oversized if you ask me, but whatever. No? Okay, hold on. I don't think we can see them because... Uh, uh, yep, can't see them. So, the Vinthir, as part of their campaign, have these war bears, right, that are really cool as a mount, uh, as you do the Covenant campaign. So, but, uh, we cannot see those, so... You can't even see the transmog option. I mean, you can see the... I don't even think you can see the back options, can you? I don't think so, if I remember correctly. Oh, ooh, keep going back. Oh, yeah, okay, you can. Because, like, you'll end up with those. You'll end up with these. Where is it? Yeah, that one. Plan on keeping my sin stone of my sins on my back. And the reason I thought about going with, and again, this is not set in stone. I may switch over. We may, you may also get to see Lagasa, my Maghar orc, next time we play. Um, because honestly, I think uh, I think that the concept of either of being Black Hand's daughter. And following Garrosh, right? That would explain the, uh, you know, the 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 lore of being like, well, what's your sin zone for? And kind of like those things is like I followed Garrosh like blindly because he was a friend um, type thing. So yeah. All right. We need one more scout. One more scout. All right, we're gonna go around this person because I don't feel like fighting you. Oh, oh, you can't hear me. Magically, that dagger life <laughs> flies all the way around. Oh, okay. I thought we were. I think I was sworn to send it up at the camp, but that's okay. Okay, so. I might also pull a gossip over here and see kind of what's happening. Uh, and again, you might come back, and I've moved on from this point because I'm I am actively working on this character uh, leveling. So, still join me in the adventure. Um, 
Yeah. All right. I think we've had a little bit of fun. Um, like I said, follow me on Twitter, Twitch. Uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, like I said, I stream 9.30 to 12.30 most, um, basically Tuesday, Thursday, and I'll be uploading YouTube videos uh, on the site as well. All of my Twitch streams will be uploaded to YouTube, um, but also I'll be posting extra content on there, such as Among Us, Resident Evil 7, Sea of Thieves, Halo, different things, and I'm going to try and get uh, the stream maybe the next time I play with some of my uh, buddies. Um so yeah, but thank you for glitching, glitching along, along with me and being patient with my uh, internet and uh, Tourette's. Um, so uh, yeah, um, well, uh, and I hope you had fun. Uh, I'm iGlitch. I hope you have an amazing next two days till I see you. Uh, and as always, love those around you. And more importantly, Take this lesson to heart. Wisdom is gained through mistakes. That is all I have for you tonight.